welcome back to my little internet tube channel, where we talk mostly about cameras and lenses. Sometimes it's even accurate. Film photography is on the rise, but the question that I always keep getting from people is, why do we love film photography? That's kind of a hard question to answer. I think there are a number of reasons just browsing Instagram, Facebook, film photography images look great. They have a certain feel to them that's not easily replicated with digital. It's a combination of the more natural looking grain, the warmer colors, and just the general vibe that you get with film photography images. So it's undeniable to me that the aesthetic is one of the main reasons. We've talked about this quite a bit on my channel, but one of the reasons people love photography, and you can see this in the comments, it requires you to slow down, be more deliberate with your shooting, and not just firing off shots rapidly, carelessly, thoughtlessly. You have to really think about what you're doing. In addition, you get the Pokemon card effect. After you take the images, they sit in their little, little canister for a while, you dunk them in some chemicals, come out of their pack, so to speak, and you get to take a look at the images and there's that element of surprise and excitement that comes along with those images so that's super cool as well there's also the physicality of film and this is really prevalent with instant film formats there's something to be said with creating a physical object a negative an instant print versus a, a bunch of ones and zeros like I'm creating a video right now uh, it's just a bunch of ones and zeros it's something to be said for creating a physical object bringing your images into being physically you know we've talked about a couple of the reasons people love photography I do think there's one overarching main reason why people love film photography so much and I think that we can sum that up and that's nostalgia I want you to take a trip with me back to the year 1998 it's a Wednesday night in December the Christmas decorations are up in your house. It's a Wednesday night in December, and the Christmas decorations are up in your house. You take a look out the window, and you can see that the snow started to fall. Normally, you would have school the next day, but hour after hour, as the snow falls and eventually starts to stick, it becomes clear that you might not have school tomorrow. You call your best friend, your best friend comes over to your house, and he brings his Nintendo 64 controller, and you go down to the basement, and you hook up Nintendo 64, and you turn on GoldenEye. 007 for a night of multiplayer madness. Eventually, after you've been playing for a few hours, your mom yells at you downstairs and she said, hey, I went and got Pizza Hut, come up and eat. And she says, oh, by the way, school's canceled tomorrow. Stop. Did you feel that? I know that's very anecdotal, but that's a very nostalgic story for me. There's a lot in that story that, that brings up certain emotions. It makes me feel a particular way. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, how does this relate to film photography at all? Well, I think there's something to that, at least for a lot of folks, specifically folks who shot film in the past. You think about the story that I told, living at home with your parents, the Nintendo 64, the Pizza Hut, having sleepovers with your friend, right? Some folks look at film photography that way, buying physical rolls of film and mechanically loading them into the camera, having these all metal, sturdy, unlike the plastic fantastic cameras that we seem to have permeating the market now. I think people get that same fuzzy feeling that I get when I think about a story like that. So what is nostalgia? Well, nostalgia is sentimentality for the past. It's typically related to a place or objects or a time period in your life where you had positive associations. It can also refer to a longing or wistful feeling for a time that's gone by, a time that you can't any longer get back to. Nostalgia is oftentimes triggered by certain sensory cues. Look at the old cameras on my shelf here. Taking a look at my Laka M6. You know, the mechanical shutter, the tactile feel of the metal in your hand. It's very easy to feel something when you're dealing with these old cameras. There's something special about I think an interesting point here concerned people like me, right? I'm a millennial, right? My very first camera was a Game Boy camera, which was a very early digital camera. It's the little cartridge you stuck in the back of a Game Boy. It's the very first camera I owned. It was terrible. But my first camera was a digital camera. I'm not so young that film cameras weren't used. My mom still used film cameras for a good portion of my life. But about in my high school years, everybody made the transition to digital. So I really don't have those nostalgic fond feelings for film photography. So I didn't live through the time where folks were shooting film cameras and developing these fond feelings or having these happy experiences with it. So why do I still feel nostalgic for film photography? Am I actually a time traveler? Have I been reincarnated? Well, turns out there's something else. That leads us to something called imagined nostalgia or vicarious nostalgia. And that refers to that same yearning or longing feeling for a bygone time, even if it's not necessarily a time that you personally experienced, just a time that you're familiar with. 
And a lot of photographers, lots of us millennial bros like myself, um, I think this is what we experience. We didn't live through the days of film photography. We didn't run off to the lab to get our photos developed. We all got digital cameras pretty soon. We lived through the era where we had the camera phone. Right? That's back when the very first cell phones that we had were called camera phones because it was so novel that you could have a camera on your phone. For a while, we called them camera phones. <laughs> this is different from proper nostalgia where you actually experience these things. We are just imagining this nostalgia. And there are a number of things that can trigger this imagined nostalgia. And I think you're watching one of them right now. By videos, books, music, art, anything like that can trigger this imagined nostalgia. How many of us have been scrolling through Instagram and we see a really moody knot image taken on Cinestill 800T and we just think there's this whole world there inside that picture that looks like it would just be so cool to be a part of. And I think that's what film photography gives to a lot of us. It gives us that sense of nostalgia. Even if we weren't there, it feels like somewhere we would like to be. I think it's also worth noting that imagined nostalgia is not the same as romanticizing the past. I think we could have a romanticized view of the past that is not necessarily accurate. I think our mind has this unique ability to take memories that we have and make them feel a little better than they actually were. Um, I look back at my high school cross country days longingly, like that I really, it was terrible most of the time. It was really hard, right? I spent a lot of time suffering and puking and in pain, um, but my brain has done this thing where it's warped it to where it was all this happy, positive experience. And we have to be careful with that. The past is always seen through the lens of the present. That imagined nostalgia is subject to our own personal experiences and emotions. I think many of us who have fallen down the, the deep, dark rabbit hole of film photography, we're probably interested in photography before that, so we were predisposed to be interested in film photography. Film photography can invoke a sense of nostalgia for a time when film photography was a lot less accessible and the images that you produced were much more rare. And I think that that's something we still enjoy today. Almost every single image we see on every single thing is an image produced with some sort of digital camera. I think it's a really appealing, nostalgic notion um, that our images are scarce. I think this imagined nostalgia can translate to other hobbies as well. And I'm thinking of one little anecdotal experience that I'm having. After Christmas, I bought a Steam Deck. But one particular, I bought Final Fantasy 1, right? The the very first Final Fantasy game, they have this pixel remaster. But Final Fantasy 1 is a game I never played on any console, but I still feel nostalgic when I play it. The charming pixelated graphics and the old school music, it really speaks to me. I can't help but feel a certain way when I play this old game. Obviously, it's not just film photography that can, can have you feeling this nostalgic feeling for a time that you didn't actually experience. It's a really weird thing to feel nostalgic about things like that. Let me know in the comments if you think that you've ever experienced imagined nostalgia for something that you you didn't even experience. Whatever your reason for shooting film photography, I hope you're having a really good time doing it and I hope that you're making amazing images. Take a look at my video where I talk about Kodak's film that they developed at the United States military that led to the death of thousands of people. But as always guys, I really appreciate you watching and if you could, before you go, click the subscribe button. Freaking really helps me out a lot. As always guys, thank you for watching.